Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Blackhawks. Be a GM. When it left you off, we were trying to pick up Julius Honka, a top six offensive defenseman with an unbelievable shot. Unbelievable shot. You guys said I should go after him, so I'm going to try. Now, this is the deal that I think might work, okay? Clendenning and Nordstrom for Honka and this Devane character. It makes everything okay in terms of the, the uh, like, the, it's league approved. Now, the only problem here would be, would they accept the offer? Um, it's hard to say. I think they will just because Nordstrom does make up for Honka. And uh, it adds a little bit of value because they want him. And, like, on top of Honka. And it makes up for Devane easily. So, let's see if this one goes through. So, Clendenning and Nordstrom for Honka and Devane will go. And it will. There you go. So, we've got Honka now. I figured that one probably would go. Now, one of the things we do need to do is we need to get rid of our boy here. LeBlanc, Louis LeBlanc. Now, we cannot give him to Los Angeles because they have no cap space, but we can give him to a guy like Florida with $7 million in cap space. Now, let's see if we can pick somebody up that has potential because we're going to, I'd rather trade away for a player with potential. So, you got a couple of four Red Star players here. Uh, you got Petrovic, uh, 79 overall, two way defenseman. He would automatically slot in as close to the line. Um, you also got Howden, Quentin Howden. Uh, he would actually replace the guy we just lost in Nordstrom, and he's he's okay. So I would I would be happy with Howden. So let's see if we can throw Howden on there. The only problem is they don't want to get rid of him, and the value is identical. Uh, we'll try it. What's our relationship? Neutral relationship. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Louis LeBlanc for Quentin Howden. Will it go? No, I didn't think so. So let's go take a look uh, somewhere else. Who's got cap space? All right, Edmonton. Uh, we got a good rep with Edmonton. Who are they willing to get rid of? Uh, Matt Hendricks. No, we're not willing to get Matt Hendricks. Detroit. They've got a lot of players. Uh, now, anybody with good potential? Probably not quite. No. Not what I'm interested in. Dallas. Just getting rid of Martin Havlett. Columbus. Probably wouldn't accept this. No, and I don't want to... I want to... I'm burger. Um, no. We might just have to trade him for a pick, to be honest, guys. That's just me. maybe the way it is. Buffalo doesn't want anybody. Boston. Seidenberg. Anaheim. And I'm as a couple people, Petrie, but again, his value is a little bit higher. Um, Dermot and Petrie, they're a little bit too good. He's an enforcer defenseman. No, I don't really want to gamble on an enforcer defenseman. Oh, that's Petrie again. God damn it. I hate when it rearranges them after you choose it. Uh, Dermot, this is the one here. Travis Dermot, two-way defenseman, three and a half yellow stars. I mean, we could couple LeBlanc with another pro for another prospect, but... That cap space scares people away. Now, who's willing to give up picks? Because that might be the best bet for us, is to give up a draft, pick up a draft pick. And you know what? It may end up being a second round pick. Nope, not going to go through in Anaheim. Uh, let's try Boston for a second. This would go through. All right, uh, for a second. Odds are it won't. I'd probably have to give up something else. But I would like to pick up a second round pick for this year. So will it go through? We'll give it a shot. No. Not sufficient at all. Now, is there anybody we have great relationship with uh, besides L.A.? Because we know we can't give them. Edmonton is good rep, and they would give a second. This might go through. Louis LeBlanc for Edmonton second. Will it go? No. But just a bit low for us. Just a bit low. So what if I threw on a late pick? What if I threw on, like, a fourth where there's going to be no value? So Louis LeBlanc in a fourth for Edmonton second. There you go. So we picked up a second round pick for LeBlanc. That'll give us a bit more cap space going forward here. And uh, we don't really need to add anybody else. We've got the prospects in the system. Now, one thing I do want to look at, because I'm always like, i always interested, is to go to trade negotiations, go to the block. And I want to look for more players. Uh, let's take a look for any forwards that are three and a half. I want to look for three and a half to four green stars. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. Let's see what's available here. All right, so here's one, Sizikas. He's three and a half green star, two-way forward center. Now, obviously, he would be in... Yeah, he's a third-line checker. He makes 1.905. In order to pick up, pick up a player like that, we'd have to give up Drew LeBlanc. Um, he's a little bit better than LeBlanc, so... There's also Riley Sheehan, three and a half green stars. He's only 25 years old, or he's already 25 years old, so that's a problem. Uh, Smith Pelly. Power forward, 25 years old. Good. His shot's not great. Power forward, physically, he's pretty strong. Uh, Zucker, Jason Zucker. Left wing, 80 overall, 8, 25 years old. Uh, makes 
Edom's a, a nice option here just because of his value. He's got an okay shot. Not the best for a sniper. Physically, not great. He's athletically, he's okay. He's pretty good. Passing and puck control. His puck skills are just terrible, so I don't think I want a guy like that. Uh, Lyndon Vay, three and a half green stars as well. We've got Kyle. Is anybody? Here's like some other guys. Lowry. Adam Lowry, sorry. 76 overall, two way forward. Two, 24 years old. He's getting up there, but he's not great. Uh, Seth Griffith, a sniper, 78 overall. He's a depth player. He's making a pretty good bundle of money there. Reed Boucher. We know all about Reed Boucher and his shot. Um, is he somebody we go for? Because he's a good sniper. But we'd have to give up more. Uh, we don't have anybody that we can give up right now. Andrew Shaw. Obviously, they got him solicited as a second-line player. Um, where's our guy? Where's our boy? Um, Chasen. Where's Chasen? If they got Shaw in there, where the hell's is Chasen? There he is right there. They got him as a second as well, Chasen and Shaw. So they're Shaw's a little bit higher value than Chasen, to be honest. A little bit higher value. We could actually trade Shaw for a Zach Cassian or a Jaden Schwartz even you might be able to pick up. No, that's okay. And then there's Laurent Dauphin. We know about Laurent Dauphin. We know he gets a great shot. He's already got a really good shot. Do we make that offer now for Dauphin? He's 70 or 66 overall. Uh, in order to get Dauphin, you'd have to give up Nick Ritchie. And even then, that's not enough. Nick Ritchie, 69 over or 69 overall at this point. Four and a half yellow stars. He could still get there. He's almost there. He's he's NHL. He's close. He's AHL ready. He's almost NHL ready. And, and I'd give it three years, and he's gonna be NHL ready. Um, you know what? We don't have the 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 ass. We don't have the pieces in place right now, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I feel like we've got a pretty good lineup as it is. So let's just continue to September 13th, and then we're going to... Oh, we got a new phone. And then we're going to make a look at... Or we're going to take a look and see how everybody, how good everybody gets before the, we start the year. Um, we've got everybody in place that we want in terms of goalies and forwards and everything. Fell into a couple players very luckily. Um, it's been an interesting year. It's the first time I've actually went out and signed the top, top prospect. Or not top prospects, sorry, the top free agent, which was Smith. And he's going to offer an ob absolutely awesome third-line defensive role for us. We paid a lot for him, but his value is still really high that if we wanted to trade down, you know, to maybe an 83 or an 82 overall, we could still get a decent player and with lower cap. You know, that could still happen. But at this point in time, cap is not an issue. Cap may become an issue in a couple years. Um... When Drew, well, we just signed Druin. How many years did we get Druin for? Was it three? Yeah, Druin was three years at 5.2. So we don't have to worry about him for a while. We actually signed most of the young guys right away. Uh, Seth Jones will need a contract soon. There's no doubt about that. So that will be an area where we're going to have to explore. Now, he'll probably only want an extra $4 million. And with the cap space going up, we should still have the room for him without making any moves. All right, welcome back to your fifth year as GM of the Chicago Blackhawks. You made some interesting choices in the offseason, but I have to assume you know what you're doing. Uh, I want the team to get 48 wins, so another 48-win season for us. Okay, so we're going to go to actually edit lines, and we'll do roster moves from there. I find that a little bit easier. All right, roster moves. Make sure we have everybody up that we want up. Uh, no, so Honka, he's an 83 overall, so we're going to call him up. Look at that, see? James Martin, 82 overall. He jumped up. They got him as a minor too, but uh, trainer we're going to call up. And look, even Riala dropped up, jumped up to an 81. See, that's what I was talking about, giving those guys those contracts. There might be some interest from people to have those players. I don't understand how Martin is not considered a top, you know, top six defenseman. He's 26 years old, 82 overall. Like, we could get rid of some of these guys because he's got good... Yeah, I mean, maybe he, maybe it's a case of what happened with Theo Peckham. He glitched out, you know. But we're going to leave him down there for now with with Mar Riala. Uh, goalies. we got Campbell. He's an 83 now. And look at Cotton. 91 overall. Oh, my goodness. And Persini, or per Parasini's in 79 as a minor starter. Unbelievable. Uh, and then where's our other guy? There, Hall. He's an 81 overall as well. Unbelievable. The 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 up the jumps from everybody. Um, we're gonna go to edit lines now. All right, best lines. Now Andrew Shaw jumped. Andrew Shaw jumped to an 86 overall. 86 overall grinder. I think it's very difficult at this point. Look at a shot. 
Very difficult at this point for me to ignore that and have him play the third line at 86 overall. I feel really bad because Chasen's there. We're going to move this around um, like this. Okay, we're going to switch those two around. Trainer. Uh, you're supposed to be playing the fourth line. Okay. And where's... Who the hell else is there? Who are we missing here? Where's LeBlanc? Where's Drew LeBlanc? Is he scratched or something? Yeah, see, they've scratched Drew LeBlanc. Um, it's because we've got too many players up here. Because Biggs is up here. Hold tight. we got to go... Oh, shit. Hold on. Edit lines. Okay. Uh, roster moves. That's what we want. Okay, so we got to send first off. Sort by... There you go. So, Biggs, you need to go down, buddy. I know he jumped to an 85 overall, but... That's okay. I play. I prefer him play down there. And Levi, he's a minor top two. We're gonna send him down. Okay. Now we'll go back to the NHL roster. Uh, let's. Yeah, we're gonna put in LeBlanc. We're gonna put in Drew LeBlanc, and we're gonna switch him with Winnick. So that's what I wanted was Daniel Winnick and uh, Drew LeBlanc playing that line. Now we could pull up Bigs if we want to add a power forward there. But now look at that third line of Craig Smith, Alex Chasen, and Brandon Saad. That's not a bad option, and Chasen's not going to drop. He might end up as an 84, but he could very well still stay as an 85. Uh, but his shot is just not as good as Andrew Shaw's. I'd like to give Andrew Shaw a chance on that second line. What a jump for him. Those green star guys are so unpredictable. So, sniper, playmaker, grinder. You got a power forward a two, and two two-way forwards. And then on the third line, a bunch of two-way forwards. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, defensively... Jones is an 88, Letty's an 80, uh, 86, Fowler's an 85, Jalmerson's an 84, and then you've got Honka and Kuma, they're 83 and 81 respectively. Uh, power play, we want Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze, no, we're going to put Taze here, Drew in here, Patrick Kane there, okay, and we want Chasen, Honka's on the top one, good, that's exactly how we want it, just like that. Four-man power play, we want Drew in and Kane, and Honka, sure, and then Taze, Kadri. And Letty, you know what? I'm actually going to put Chasen in here because I think Chasen's got a better shot than Kadri. Let's put Chasen in here. Let's see, because he's got a better shot. Yeah, he's got a better shot, especially the slap, slap shot's much better. So we're going to throw Chasen in there, give him the power play time because he's getting the regular power play. Yep, yeah, he's getting that with Kadri Lupul. Perfect. I like that. Uh, penalty kill, we got Taze and Druin and Trainer and Smith. You know what? I'm going to switch Trainer and Druin around just so that you can get that nice balance of elite. Um, defensively, fine, that's good. Taze and Druin is our top, good. Taze and Kane, Druin and Lupul. Uh, you know what? Lupul doesn't have as good a shot. Well, 88-88. You know what? I'm going to leave Lupul there. And then we're going to go Kadri and Chasen. Very good indeed. Um, you know who I do kind of want to add to the power play? I feel like Andrew Shaw needs some power play time. Um, uh, we got a bunch of offensive defensemen. I don't know where to put them, though. Because he's got a better shot than Lupo right now, does he not? Let's take a look at him. 89, 87. It's pretty strong. He, he's got a pretty good shot. I'm actually going to put in, instead of Lupo, I'm going to put in Shaw. We're going to try Shaw on the power play. And, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Because we've got a bunch of offensive players like Nick Letty. Um, yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to leave Nick Letty on because he is a defenseman. All right, let's give this a shot for the year. Let's see how things go. I do want to take a look at Rockford. Best lines. Um, now, I had this set up as Nordstrom on the top line, but uh, obviously he got traded. So, Turvinen, uh, Broadhurst. Where's Denno? Okay, we want Denno. And uh, I want to switch it with McNeil. So, Broadhurst is playing. Well, we got two Broadhursts. Now I'm confused. There's Terry Broadhurst. Okay, then there's this guy here. So, this guy's going to go here. Uh, and Reala, yep. I want Richie. Hold on, I want Hartman playing over here. I want Richie playing the second line. Machintra will play there. We picked up Devane. I'm fine with that. Baptiste, he's in the lineup, so that's good. I'd rather him... Well, do you know what? With Biggs here. We're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to put it like that. And we will put Devane on the fourth line there. I would like to see... Let's see Biggs. 75 overall. Four, three and a half yellow stars. He's a fourth line player. Good body checking. Defensive awareness and offensive awareness are very low. His discipline's not great either. He could use some time. I'm going to give him a little bit of time. I know they got him rated as a fourth line player, but I feel like he's better off being there. Uh, we're going to put Martin in there. Fine. Uh, Levi, I want on the top line. Blacker, we'll put there. 
Uh, where's Hetherington? You know what? These guys are better. Uh, Cushman, Shea, and Gleason. Where's 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 our guys? There's a couple that are uh, Hetherington. I want to un I want to un him. Uh, let's take off Shea. We'll scratch Shea, and we'll unscratch Hetherington. And then there's also Holmes. Where's Holmes? He's not great. Here he is, 52 overall. You know what? I'm going to throw Holmes on there, and I'm going to scratch. You know what? I'm going to leave that. We'll leave that. Hetherington, i got to find. I've got to make sure that there's no holes here. Okay, it looks like we're okay. Oh, Hetherington. Here we go. That'll give one of our, you know, better players some time down there. All right. Perfect. I like that. Oh, and I want to switch. Oops. I want to switch those around. I, I mean, Hall's good. 81 overall. But I would rather have our other guy playing there. Perfect. So that looks good there. Uh, they got Martin and Riala as our top jump on guys. I don't think so. Let's do Riala and let's do, I guess, McNeil. All right, let's do McNeil. Uh, let me go back to my centers. You know, I want Richie playing that top line. And I want... I want McNeil. Up. Yeah, you know what? They're good. They're good where they are. Well, 24 years old versus... Turvinen, what's Turvinen like? 23, so there's a year difference. Four yellow stars. Uh, what's Denno like? Is he 24? He's 24. And McNeil, he's 24 and three and a half yellow. You know what? I'm just going to switch him. I want Turvinen to have that time. He needs to get up there. All right, I like that. Uh, that's good too there in the, the minors. Perfect. Much, much better. So let's see how things go. We're going to get the preseason underway at least uh, once I get my scouting out of the way. Uh, scouting. Scout assignment. My mic is like just drop. Hold late, hold late. I gotta fix my mic. Sorry for the interference. I just it drops sometimes. Sorry, it's all buggered up right now. We'll see how that works. It's just starting to drop. Okay, now let's take a look here. If there's anybody considered, there's a top five United States forward. Let's check. Uh, oh no, Q top ten, OHL a bunch of first rounders. WHL, wow, WHL's got a ton. We'll be scout. Look at all the first rounders, too. Look at all of them. First WHL is where we're going to start. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to scout six weeks. Oh, hold on. I want it to reset. I want that to take effect so it doesn't glitch. All right, so there we go. Okay, so we're going to probably have time to get the preseason rolling in this in this video. Uh, but besides that, that'll probably be it. So let's get through the preseason. Let's see how things go with our new team. Uh, a bunch of surprises. A bunch of surprises from Andrew Shaw to some of the defensemen. We can make some trades. Wow, an 8 nothing win. 6-1. to one. Oh, man, they're pounding the shit out of teams here. Uh, expect you to make the playoffs. Well, yeah, with 48 wins, I would hope we make the playoffs. It's been It's very clear from you guys that you want us to make the playoffs and you want us to do well. So that's what we're going to do. Wow, 5 nothing win. I don't see us being stopped at this point. Um, like, I just cannot believe some of the surprises that have come through. Like, Andrew Shaw is one of the most surprising players for sure. You know what? We have time for one month, I think. We could do one month. Look at Shaw's got 7 assists playing that second line. Unbelievable. In the last game against Nashville, we ended up losing in overtime. But chasing with 4 goals. Let's take a look at some of these numbers here. Um, look at that. Cotton put up a 9-5-4 and a 1-3-0. Uh, points, we were 1-2-3 and, yeah, just 1-2-3. Taze, Druin, and Shaw. Kane is nowhere to be seen on that list at all. Uh, Cotton had the most wins in the entire preseason, so that's good. Assists, look at that. And then goals, Taze, Chasen, and Druin both had four. Like, all, all, sorry, all three had four. Unbelievable start. Just the, that's just the preseason. Let's, let's not get carried away here. But let's see how things go here uh, in October of 2017. Continue. We don't need to worry about the salary cap here at this point. Uh, please designate your players to the minors. That's fine. We're good to go with that. We could actually move Riala and Martin for some picks if we wanted to. I don't know what kind of value they hold because they are con uh, still considered to be uh, depth players or, you know, top line players in the minors our minor system should be winning a lot too considering the goaltending and the offensive firepower we have right now and you know what like i said to you guys that's why you sign those guys to low contracts because they could come up and be effective in the nhl for a low value you know it, it could be they could be very good 
Uh, not a good start here. Not a good start. We haven't won a game yet, but give it time. There you go. There's the first one. Perfect. And Druin's got three goals in three games. Um, I think right now we're just trying to figure out how everybody's playing together. There you go. Exactly. So you just got to give it a little time. Look at Trainer. Fourth line minutes. Four assists in four games. Well done for him. Just trying to figure everybody out, you know. Um, I expect there to be not many valleys. Uh, I expect there to be a ton of like long-standing peaks, and every now and then you'll get a valley. If it's at the beginning of the year, so be it. I'd rather it occur and get it out of the way now. Look at all these first-rounders. I just want to keep scouting that one. I just want to keep scouting the WHL at this point because there's so many good players. So many good players. That will be the, the cream of the crop this year, and I feel like it's going to be a great year for the draft. Uh, we need to get back on our horse here, though. There you go. Pull within, pull to 500. Uh, I need some. It's going to be a good year for rookies. I think you're right. I think maybe we do need to move uh, Riala and Martin and see if we can't steal another. Wow, Druin's at six goals. See if we can't steal another first round pick from somebody. Possibly get another top end prospect. Uh, you never know. You never know what you might be able to conjure up. Oh, there's a loss there. Are we going to finish above 500? I would love to finish above 500 for the month. I mean, the record we have now, there you go. Perfect. The record we have is not reflective of the way how how good our team is. So, Druin finishes 10 games with 9 goals. Taze had 7 assists. Let's take a look here at the numbers. Uh, we're not up there for save percentage or goals against, so we're currently having some defensive problems. It may be penalty kill issues. We'll address it after month two, but for now, I'm not going to worry. Um, points, you see Druin up there in eighth at 11 points. He's only two off the lead. Uh, wins, we've got five wins. That is enough to put us in there, but Cotton's only got three, so he's not having a good start here. Um, goals, Druin leads the league with nine goals. Obviously, that is no surprise there. We are not up there for assists. Aaron Ekblad actually is number one in the league for assists. Unbelievable for him. But Drew with nine goals in ten games. He's having a great start. Um, we currently sit in fourth, but with a, with a slight cushion on Colorado. And I feel like, yeah, we're, st we're still in a, we're in a playoff spot at this point. Uh, but it's early. It's early. Anything can happen. It wasn't the best month. I expect much more from us here in the future. So I hope you guys like the changes. I hope you guys like how the roster turned out. My goodness, what a surprise, hey? So leave it there. Until next time, I'm Target Audience. I'll catch you guys out on the ice.